Yeah, they, there was a lady, my, my sister, who's in the presence of the Lord, used to sell Avon. And uh, she came to the house and uh, she told that story oh. um, to my sister. Mm -hmm. And I overheard it. Okay. <laughs> okay. And I Caesarized it. Yes. And uh, of course, that was during the time when I recorded with the Tommies in mm -hmm. Chicago. Mm -hmm. And uh, we had all of our songs, but I needed one more. And so uh, um, I, I, uh, we all went to the church, and Mike got on the organ. And so I said, well, Mike, we may as well go. These people that let us use their church. I said, but I can't. I said, I'm, I'm, I'm blocked. And uh, so Mike, we, we went outside. They locked the church door. Mike said, wait a minute. It's Michael Mathis. He said, I believe God's going to use you. I believe God's got the song for you. We went back in there. And I just started singing, I'm a stranger, don't you drive me away. And uh, then I took the story, mm -hmm. put the story to the song, and that was it. Story uh, with a song to follow. Well, Eric, I like, I, in fact, I love singing about current events. Yes. Um, like Bobby Emanuel, when those nine people uh, were killed and... Uh, and then, then uh, let's see, there was something else that happened. Um, um, take your knee off my neck mm -hmm. uh, when George Floyd was killed. Um, I find it easy when I see what that devil is doing. Mm -hmm. And I know that the public just really need to hear something that will bring them out of that. And, and, uh, let them know that if there's a way into a situation, mm -hmm. there's a way out of it. 